turn you off if I think of that other thing. If not, that's it. Keep this tape in your library. I'm telling you, don't tape over this. Keep it. Take it out and laugh at it with some of your friends, but maybe it might not be so funny to them. Show it to somebody who's sick. Show it to your parents. Show it to somebody who you think may be interested in it, because if you send them to me, you can end up making some money out of it. That I want to say or do on the end of this, but I came up with something else. What I'm going to do is because I think I can get this on the end of my nasty stuff. So for some of you, you may have started this tape in the end. Now what you do is rewind me all the way back to the beginning. And what I do is cover basically what I've just done in a more nasty mode. But I give you not nasty. Nasty isn't the right word. Let's just say more aggressively and openly and more gutsy and ballsy. Now, if you think you can handle it, rewind the tape all the way back to the beginning. It will give you more insight and more feel for me and also prep you up for the six hour tape if you decide to go into that. Because I hit on some really neat stuff if you rewind me all the way back to the beginning and watch me. Okay? Go for it. What an awesome gift, our world. The only place in the universe we know about where there is life. Blue water, green plants, unique among all the heavenly bodies. We are inspired by the blue and the green, for they are the colors of life. But how can this miracle be? All planets are made of the same elements and compounds. Why is ours alone able to support life? In its earlier stages, our Earth was in a turbulent state. So hot that its atmospheric water vapor was unable to cool and condense. Imagine the Earth with no rains. No oceans. Just volcanoes, earthquakes, and scalding mineral springs. Then at last, as our Earth cooled, the rains came and continued for many hundreds of years. Rainstorms that began gradually to dissolve the minerals of the rock to form soil. And the oceans began to fill our planet was becoming ready to accept and support life in a mixture of acids and minerals, gases and salts, colliding and tumbling, boiling and condensing over and over for countless millennia. Somewhere in this primal darkness, a primitive microbe that existed by fermentation began slowly to consume the amino acids and other building blocks of life that surrounded it. Left to its own, it would eventually have destroyed them all and vanished, leaving just one more lifeless planet. But in that first spark of Earth's life, something wonderful happened. An organism appeared that learned to combine sunlight and mineral-rich water to make food for itself. In return, it gave off great quantities of a precious new material, free oxygen which would change our planet forever. This organism, which first produced oxygen, is called blue-green algae. With no competition from other life forms, the algae multiplied, occupying the world's oceans in numbers beyond imagining. 
Slowly, over the next three billion years, it produced the atmosphere which makes other life possible. Blue-green algae exists because of the miracle of photosynthesis. This astonishing conversion of light to matter is accomplished by a special substance within the algae called chlorophyll, which it contains in greater proportion than any other organism. It's interesting to see that a molecule of chlorophyll, so complicated in structure, is nearly identical to a molecule of hemoglobin, the substance in our bloodstream that enables us to use oxygen. The chlorophyll consumes carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. The hemoglobin uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide. It is this give and take, this essential balance and harmony, which is the secret of successful life on our planet. Today, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, blue-green algae together with all the other algae which developed later, produce 90% of the life-giving oxygen we breathe. While all of our forests and trees and all our grasses and flowers contribute only the other 10%. Algae, which exist in a nearly infinite variety of delicate forms, are present everywhere on our Earth in every drop of water in nature, in every teaspoon of fertile soil, in the bark of trees, on the highest mountain peaks and polar ice caps, and in the hottest, deepest mineral springs. They range in size from microalgae so tiny, 30 million can live in an ounce of soil to macroalgae like giant kelp, which can grow to be several hundred feet long. By contributing most of the oxygen we breathe, algae balances our atmosphere and thus influences our weather as well. It's also the basis, the very foundation of the food chain upon which all living creatures depend. Algae are classified by their colors, red, green, brown, and golden, which reflect their capacity to absorb different wavelengths of light. In other words, their color shows their particular sunshine diet. It is the blue-green algae which enjoy the broadest nutrient light spectrum. And of the many varieties of blue-greens, it is the freshwater, super blue-green algae which best lends itself to human use. Harvested from the wild, it contains a unique balance of important nutrients not easily found in other foods. Perhaps because of their antiquity, blue-green algae are unique in possessing characteristics of three kingdoms of life, plant, animal, and bacteria. The algae share with bacteria the ability to exchange genetic information with other species and to adapt quickly to a changing environment. Yet bacteria don't contain chlorophyll. The algae share with the plant kingdom the capacity to use energy from the sun. Yet their cell walls are not constructed of cellulose, like those of all plants. Instead, blue-green algae share with the animal kingdom a digestible cell wall which our bodies use as food. Unlike animals, some blue-green algae can move about in search of food and favorable temperatures. Yet, because they contain chlorophyll, they can't be considered animals. So blue-green algae truly belong in a kingdom by themselves. It is this family to which super blue-green algae belongs. There is only one known place in the world where this superb algae flourishes in large enough quantities to be harvested where all the necessary conditions are right, in the Cascade Mountains of Southern Oregon. It is Upper Klamath Lake.
which was formed 10,000 years ago when the glaciers retreated, leaving a shallow basin surrounded by mountains that became a fertile marsh and haven for wildlife. Tulis and wokas that the native peoples used for their food and dwellings grew in abundance here. It was a peaceful, bountiful place, a high desert land with an extraordinary amount of sunshine. To the south, it was guarded by the majestic Mount Shasta, and to the north, by the equally impressive Mount Mazama. Then, about 7,000 years ago, suddenly everything changed in an event that has survived in stories passed on from parent to child for 300 generations, a volcanic eruption of tremendous proportion occurred. It was perhaps the largest explosion ever on the North American continent, for it destroyed the upper 5,000 feet of the mountain, raining down millions of tons of destructive power but also distributing millions of tons of pure minerals in a fine white ash of unimagined richness. These minerals were absorbed into the lake and spread out over the land for hundreds of miles around. And water, literally billions of gallons of crystalline water, flowed from some unknown source to fill the 2,000-foot crater of Mount Mazama. Crater Lake. This incredible water source also flows into the 17 clear streams and rivers that today supply nearby Upper Klamath Lake. These 650 billion gallons of mystery which flowed toward the lake each year, capturing and scattering rainbows on their way, are known collectively as the Rivers of Light. Cold and unbelievably pure, the water collects rich volcanic nutrients from the earth, which are then absorbed into the cellular structure of super blue-green algae. This mineral ash nourishes the algae and helps it to multiply almost infinitely, creating a storehouse for all the creatures who come to celebrate its bounty. This blue-green algae is nature's nearly complete food, 65% protein, and the richest source of chlorophyll on the planet, it contains a broad spectrum of vital minerals, enzymes, and vitamins, including the beta carotenes we all need to maintain a healthy immune system. When we eat super blue-green algae, it's as though we take sunlight into the cells of our bodies. We're nourished deeply and feel connected once again to our origins. Upper Klamath Lake is one of the world's largest biomass producers. For thousands of years, it has remained unspoiled, one of nature's most powerful silent secrets. The lake cradles a treasure of light, life and energy that represents on this earth an increasingly rare source of nutritional balance and harmony. Balance and harmony, two words that have largely disappeared from our vocabulary and from our lives as well. It's a world where the food we eat is produced as fast as we can grow it, without the understanding that to be complete and healthy, plants require about as many nutrients as humans do. Over 60 minerals and trace elements have been found in plant tissues. However, many of these are no longer replaced in our soil by either organic or chemical fertilizers. And because the plant's own immune systems are weakened, pesticides and other poisons are added to replace their natural defenses. We as humans, at the top of the food chain, suffer from all the deficiencies and imbalances our demineralized foods are subjected to. And in addition, we receive a concentrated, multiplied effect from all the poisons used in food production. Is it any wonder health care has become America's largest industry? Super blue-green algae, at the very beginning of the food chain, and free from this weakening chain reaction, is one of the last wild, basic foods available on our planet. 
It can restore the balance lost in our depleted soils, modern diets, and overstressed lives, allowing our bodies and minds to possess the vitality, health, and harmony that we were all meant to enjoy. Doesn't it make sense to add super blue-green algae to your diet?
beer time. No, that's fine. <laughs> All right, it's Everybody up. Everything's up there. Beer, glasses, cheese. Well, I ain't going nowhere. I'm fine. I'm going nowhere. <laughs>